गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर लर्न विद अनीता एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट प्रोग्रामिंग कोडिंग मैक्रोस वीबीए एज एवर यू लाइक टू कॉल इट एस वीबीए इज बेसिकली विजुअल बेसिक फॉर एप्लीकेशंस एंड इट इज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज यूज्ड इन एक्सेल एंड ऑल अदर ऑफिस प्रोग्राम्स दैट विल हेल्प यू टू गेट प्रमोशन नो केयरिंग रियली इट डज हेल्प यू टू गेट प्रमोशन इम्प्रेस योर बॉस एंड वॉट इट डज इट इट ऑटोमाइज योर टास्क you give it a command you write a program you click it and that's it every time you click a button it will do your work for you it will save you time it will save you money it will save you shoutings from boss and it will make your work done quicker so it's a win win situation now before we jump into the video these are the topics cover and sixth point the bumper surprise to make sure you get advantage of that make sure you see the video till the end and before anything make sure to like subscribe comment hit the bell button and share and let me know what else you would like to learn okay now let's get into it these are the topics we're going to learn in it before anything else make sure you have a developer tab in excel if it's not there it's okay we can activate it so file options customized ribbon enable the developer okay now what this would do is it will give us a various option to record a macro to run a macro or to even write one here we going to learn how to write macro and make our life easy first to open a workbook so what we going to do is click insert module this will give us a blank canvas to open a workbook right so simple first thing first i want to name my macro i want to recognize it right so sub open workbook that's it now i'm a teacher and what i do is take attendance every single day now for that the file is saved way somewhere in the folder now to save my sub task and energy of jumping from one folder to another this file is saved in my desktop and all i do is click one button and it opens a file for me automatically and i'm going to teach you how to do that so stay tuned and make sure to like this video so workbooks dot open when i click subject and i hit the enter it all automatically gave end subject The space between this is where I write my workbook, so where I write my macros. So workbooks dot open, and this is where I'm gonna copy the path. Mind you, there is no other file open, right? So I'm gonna just take the file path name, attendance sheet, and put it there. So every time I run this macro, I can press all five, all F eight. Function five or Alt F eight. Every time I run this macro, it will open this file. If I change the path or whichever file I want to open, I just change the path, right? So let's say it's closed. Okay, we are back to square one. This is the file. I do macros. Either I call, either I can click Alt F eight, or when we were over there, I could click F five. Okay. It's it's totally your convenience. So, click, open workbook, run. Voila, attendance sheet is open. I did not have to go in the folder. All I did was copy paste to the path. It opened for me. The macro made my life simple. Now I'm gonna teach you how. Like I close the file, so only sheet two is open. I'm gonna teach you how I can close this workbook without. Actually, canceling it or closing the file. So all I do is click a button, and this workbook would be closed. Like that simple. So subject, I want to call my workbook as sub close workbook. It gave me automatically the path to where I can write my programming. So. Active workbook because I want to close the current workbook, right? The one I'm working at. So active workbook dot close. 
Let's test it. Literally, just two words and it made your life simple. Run. See, it's asking. And remember, it's M. So, because my macros are saved, that's why it's M. If you save in XLS, my macros will not be there anymore next time I'm open. Make sure it's M. Save. See? Literally, nothing is there. It's gone. Right? Now, let's open back. Now, the third is, imagine you have multiple files open and you want to click all of them with just one click. And it saves you so much time, headache, energy, everything, right? It's that cool. So let's, I can open this, I can open that, can open this. I open 10 different files. Okay, like imagine how many open? One, two, three, four, five. Five of them are open. All I do is write a macro to close all of them at once. How cool. Developer, subject, close multiple workbooks, workbooks dot close. That's it. Can you imagine just the two words can close your five files? Literally, run, save, 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 and Literally nothing. It asked me whether I want to save the files or no, but it literally didn't. I didn't had to go and click one by one by one. It closed on my workbooks. How cool is that? Right? So macros is there to make your life easy, to get your promotion, impress your boss, or however you're using it. You don't have to be analyst. You do not have to be accountant. You can be a simple student and make your life easy. You can be just an IT developer and get a fresh start, impress your boss, or you can just be a normal lay person, like a normal person who doesn't have to do anything with accounts, just want to put some data and track it in your Excel sheet. And this literally saves you so much time. So it's a win-win situation, right? We have done four macros in just a few minutes. Okay, open multiple workbooks. So for this, I have a macro written. So I'm just going to copy paste over here because it's a big one. And I'm going to explain you how it's written. What it says is open the multiple files. When you're opening it, it should give you a dialog box that will let you go and choose the file. Okay, this will give you a dialog box to choose the file and this will give you a dialog box. True means it will let you select the multiple files. Okay, and the files can only be extra. It cannot be any other file. It cannot be another. This thing, it also has to be XLS and it can only be Excel. And when you're doing it, you, you can count it. It can be more than one. And after you have selected the file, you can open it. Okay, open the selected files. That's it. That was the macro says. All you do is run. It gives you a pop-up button. There you go. Go for it. Imagine I want to open this. I want to open this. I want to open this. Three files, okay? Okay. Imagine all three open with just one click. See? All three opening with one just click. And this is my file where all the macros are saved. How cool is that? It literally saved me so much time. Now imagine you want, like you can have your own shortcuts for this macro, but imagine you have so many macros in the file that all you do is want just one click. You do not want to go macros. You do not want to remember which module it is saved. You don't remember the shortcut. You just want a button here which you click and it works for you, right? So what we're going to do is the bumper surprise. Insert button. Okay, and it will ask you which one you want to open. So I want to open for module six. Okay, and I can assign macro. So micro, it had already assigned the macro when I was doing it. And I can edit the text. I can even assign a different macro okay to the same button but here i'm opening multiple multiple workbooks 
right and I click it see it gives me a pop-up I can choose different files two files open and it gonna open for me okay so that's what this toggle button does i hope you like this video and please do let me know in the comment box what do you think what all you want to learn and make sure to subscribe hit like share with your friends and family and see you in the next video